So Kanye West and President-elect Trump had a meeting at Trump Tower yesterday. Um, that's, of course, really strange and really silly. I mean, there was a headline like, Trump considers Kanye for possible uh, role in his administration. And I thought, if I had told you that that was going to be a real headline a year ago, you would put me in a padded room. That's mental. <laughs> Kanye West and President-elect Trump. Oh, God, it's so weird. Um, well, as a result of this meeting, the media lit up naturally. Twitter lit up. Everybody was having fun with it. I got in on the fun like I just explained for you guys. But uh, Rush Limbaugh weighed in on this. And naturally, <laughs> he made an ass of himself and he found a way to be a loathsome douche. I guess Kanye West showed up at Trump Tower today. And, and the drive-bys are all just a, a Twitter and a flutter about this. And apparently what happened was Kanye West, recently out of the hospital for some sort of uh, mental exhaustion, depression, typical Kardashianitis, uh, apparently he went back to New York, went into Trump Tower, they wandered in there, and Trump heard he was there and came down and met him and actually escorted him out of the building as he left. So people are saying, maybe Kanye's going to perform at the inaugural ball. Maybe that's what this was. Trump's saying, I've known Kanye for a long time. I know all these. And he does. Trump knows all these guys. You know who's at Trump Tower right now? Jim Brown and Ray Lewis. Jim Brown, Jim Brown of the Cleveland Brown. No, Jim Brown, he's not that left-wing radical. He's not as left-wing radical as he could be. He he goes he goes back and but yeah he's there with Ray Lewis, uh, and and there was some other maybe an agent or something with them. Now I don't know if they're there to meet Trump or if they're just you know tourists, you know walking in and seeing what all the hubbub's about. <laughs> uh, itis that's what I call it. Kardashianitis, Kardashianitis, Kardashianitis. It seems to afflict everybody. Anyway, they're all upset about Kanye West. I don't understand what, what people don't get here. Kanye West is the prophet of low information voters. Why wouldn't you want to hang out with Kanye West? I mean, if you're Donald Trump and you're trying to spread your your realm and your your sphere of influence everywhere, Kanye West, who is the prophet, I mean, he is the... He's the king of the low information crowd, by definition. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. By definition? Why is Kanye, by definition, the head of the low information crowd? The prophet of the low information crowd? When I think of people who like Kanye West, honestly, what I think of are apolitical people. Most people I know who are Kanye West fans are not, you know, also reading the Wall Street Journal. Doesn't mean they're low info. In fact, again, I mean they're apolitical. So why are you saying that Kanye West's fans are low info? And furthermore, he goes on to say, well, if it's not Kanye who's the prophet of the low info voters, it's somebody like him. Somebody like him. Hmm. What are you getting at, Rush? What are you trying to say here, buddy? Now... I think it's pretty clear what he's trying to say. Who are most of Kanye West's fans? If you did a demographic breakdown. Hmm, let me think about it. You know the answer to that question. It is mostly black people. And in Rush Limbaugh's mind, hey, uh, Donald Trump is trying to reach out, okay? He's trying to reach out to different groups, and he's talking to Kanye West. Kanye West is the head, he's the leader, he's the prophet. Of the low info crowd. You know who the low info crowd is, right? Oh, Rush, what are you saying, man? But look, put that point aside because honestly, that's not the main point I want to make here. I do think that's what's going on in Limbaugh's mind. He thinks Kanye, black, his followers black, low info. Trump's reaching out to the low info blackies. You know what I'm saying? But again, side point. The main point is really, Donald Trump voters aren't low info voters? <laughs> like, and don't get me wrong, so I've defended Donald Trump voters from people who I think are making unfair arguments against them, like when people say, oh, they're all racist or they're all sexist or, you know, whatever. 
I don't buy that. I think a lot of them are hurting economically and it has a lot to do with NAFTA and outsourcing jobs and poverty and hopelessness. And he said, I'm going to do change. And Hillary Clinton was the candidate of the establishment. So I've defended them at times. But I've never at any point said, I think they're not ignorant. In fact, I think they are ignorant. They don't know historical facts. And we've covered polls of them. 59% of them still think Obama's Kenyan. Okay, that is nothing but low information. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. You know, what is it? Over 40% of them think he's Muslim. I can go on and on here. I, I, do, I wonder what percentage of them believe in climate science. Again, low information. You want to talk about low information? Let's talk about low information. So, yes, Donald Trump voters are low information voters. Doesn't mean they're bad people, but it means they don't have that much information. They are ignorant. They don't know historical facts. They don't follow the news in any detail. But here he is saying, uh, Donald Trump, I, I, like the implication is, well, Donald Trump obviously has the heart of the high information people. So now he's got to reach out to Kanye West fans, who are, of course, the low information people. And by that, I mean black Democrats. But anyway, I mean, look, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Um... So there's another angle to this also, which we should discuss, which is people are making the argument. I'm not sure if I believe it, but it's an interesting point nonetheless that uh, Trump is using Kanye to distract the media. And he, he uses things like this to distract the media. So there's been news recently, and we've covered it endlessly, of all of his appointments. All of his appointments have been a disaster. He's bathing in the swamp. He's not draining the swamp. He's draining the swamp in your mouth. So he's got, like, the CEO of ExxonMobil he wants for the next Secretary of State. John Bolton, the most hawkish neocon for Deputy Secretary of State, the number two at the State Department. Uh, you know, he's got Mike Pompeo for uh, CIA who wants to execute Edward Snowden. He's got Jeff Sessions who says good people don't smoke marijuana as he wants for Attorney General. Rick Perry for the Department of Energy when Rick Perry famously said he wants to eliminate the Department of Energy. So the list goes on and on of all the horrific, horrific, horrific picks. So it would be a smart move politically if he were to say, oh, really? I'm dominating the news cycle with negative news? Watch this. Kanye calls Kanye in there. Kanye's got no fucking idea. And next thing you know, boom, the news cycle is dominated by Trump and Kanye, Trump and Kanye, Trump and Kanye. And we're no longer having the conversation about the CEO of ExxonMobil. We're no longer having the conversation about the fast food CEO who doesn't believe in the minimum wage and who believes in automation over labor. But he's now the labor secretary or he's picked for the labor secretary. So maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. But that is a theory that's around out there. There might be some truth to it. But either way, I find... Rush Limbaugh's comments insufferable because you want to know who another low info crowd is? Rush Limbaugh listeners. Rush Limbaugh, if you had like a scoreboard on number of true statements versus false statements that Rush Limbaugh has made in his career, false would be like 3,716,436. <laughs> and uh, true statements would be 89. <laughs> like his... If you listen to shows, I'm sure he's done shows where the entire day there's no facts. No facts, just, you know, pompous right-wing douchery. So, I mean, this guy has got, his eight followers are as low information as it gets, but he he's always accusing, you know, the Democrats, low information voter Democrats, Kanye West followers, who, again, are mostly apolitical, low information, low information Kanye followers. I'm not saying this because they're black and they're probably, uh, if anything, lean left. I'm not saying that, that's, even though that's exactly what I'm saying, I'm not saying that. Um, and uh, final thing, Kadarshan. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? <laughs> He's like, hey, uh, Kadarshanitis. They got Kadarshanitis. Get off my lawn. You mean Kardashian? His fucking, his uh, producer or whoever's in his ear had to tell him like, hey dipshit, it's Kardashian. Kadarshan. Kadarshanitis. <sighs> He's so old and out of touch and just wrong about everything. Wrong. Wrong.